Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Predator. In this channel, we discuss about various concepts and technologies re related to Salesforce. In this video series, we are discussing about Salesforce Lightning Flows. In this video, we'll see how we can send email alerts using Lightning Flows. Okay, so we have a problem statement here. So whenever status of a case changes to escalated, we need to send an email to user. Okay, so we'll go to our Salesforce org. First of all, we'll create an email alert which we will be using in our flow. Okay. We'll search for email alerts. Also, we'll select an email template, right? So we need to search for an email template which we'll be using. Okay. And here we'll create new email alert. We'll search if we have template for escalation. Yeah, so we have a classic email template, escalated case notification. Okay, so same email template we'll use while creating email alert. Okay, so send email to case when case escalates. Okay. Then we'll select object as case. We'll select email template as. Case escalated notification and for user we'll select our user. OK. And we'll save this email alert. So we have created this email alert and we'll be using this email alert in our Salesforce lightning flows. OK. So we'll search for flows and we'll click on new flow. Now we'll uh, select auto launch flow and free from here. Okay. <clears throat> now we need to have a element for sending email okay so we'll select an action here let's see if we have email alert over there or not now we'll select for email alert okay so here we won't find email alert we need to change this category to type and there we can find an email alert okay so We'll just close it once and try it again. We'll select type and we'll select email alert. Okay. And okay, so our email alert is visible over here. So we can select this email alert and we can specify label as send email on escalated case. For record ID, we need to specify the ID which we will get into this flow okay so for that we need to create a new variable and it will be let's say record id and data type would be text okay and we'll specify it as available for input we'll click on done we'll check it once again yeah and we'll just connect these two elements okay so uh, we have created flow which will receive a case id and uh, it will send an email alert based on that case id okay so we'll save it we'll name it as send emails on escalated case we'll save this and activate this okay now our problem statement was whenever status of case changes to escalated we need to send email right so we need to identify the cases whose status got changed to escalated so for that we'll create a process builder okay so we'll go here search for process builder We'll 
click new process builder case it to escalated case id to flow okay process will start when record changes okay so we'll click on save we'll select object as case so it's showing us warning case already has an active record change process okay so usually we need to create one process builder only and uh, specify multiple criteria and action for demo purpose we are creating a, another process builder okay now uh, next thing we need to select is when the record is created or edited and we'll save this we'll add a criteria case got escalated we'll check for status field of case We'll choose this and its value should be escalated and one more thing is we need to specify null check also false okay we'll save this criteria and for action what we'll do we'll select flow as an action okay so we'll select flows and we'll specify send email as name for action and we'll select this send emails on escalated case flow okay now for passing the flow uh, variables we need to select the variable here record id and here it should be field reference and we'll be sending case id okay so case id okay we need to search for id case id choose it and save now our process builder is ready we will activate this confirm okay now we already had one process builder on case what we'll do is we'll deactivate it for safer side okay so we'll go to this process builder and we will deactivate this okay we'll confirm now we'll go to case record and what we'll do is we'll change the status of this case record to escalated okay and simultaneously we'll be opening our gmail account now i'll go to the case record and i will edit the status so let's say we'll make it to escalated and click on save now case has been updated let's see into our email address if we have received any email or not we'll refresh this and we can see we have received one email okay so we'll just open this email and check the following case has been escalated to escalated queue and we have the description which was there in the email template okay so this is how we can use email alerts inside flow to send email to the users okay so if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you